we had a couple people, uh, probably more than a couple. Well, three is more than a couple, and several people. <laughs> Maybe more that was asking about uh, how we cut tires. <clears throat> There's lots of different uh, methods and techniques. I always like using a chainsaw. I'm telling you the truth. I'll show you that sometime later, but uh, today <clears throat> one of my sons has finished uh, he took a hot knife and cut most of the tread off of these top cut tires. If there's a lot of tread, a lot of times we'll use a sawzall and just sawzall off the tread and then <clears throat> start working on them from there. Um, use a combination of different tools. Everything from a the hot knife to electric chainsaw to handheld grinder with special discs and uh, and a belt sander. So anyhow, here's my son. So full cut them, V cut them, or whatever you want to call it. You got to get almost all the tread off of it. You need a bald tire almost. So that's what he's working on now. Let me show him that uh, special disc. You wouldn't think that thing would cut anything. Just got a bunch of little spikes on it. But I don't know if it's coated with diamond dust or what. I don't know. But that's what we use. I'll show you. This is one of our experimental tires. We, I really did not want to just ruin this tire as an experimental tire, but it uh, it had been sitting a long time, sitting up vertically, leaning up against the wall of a barn, and it where the side wall wrinkled, it just deteriorated and just it's like a sieve. It wouldn't hold air, and it would. It was just all torn up inside, so we use this to as a experimental tire. See how deep the rubber goes and everything. See how much we have to cut off. Uh, obviously, we got that much tread on. We take a sawzall and, and cut it off. Well, we usually start at the outside and come to the inside, and then uh, <clears throat> work them down. Take a hot knife and cut the front. Mark them, cut the front, and uh, grind them down smooth, and then we'll finish them up with that belt sander. I wasn't kidding when I said I prefer to use a chainsaw. I really do. Uh, like, uh, the finish it gives and everything. This, uh, These tires will cut with a chainsaw. Um, you would think it would leave it very ragged, but I've learned you lay your bar down and go across it. it. It leaves it smooth enough for me. I don't ever even smooth them up. These are just smooth from running on the track. You can see the maybe the marks a little bit better on this one where I cut it with the chainsaw. And uh, you get to be kind of a, feel like you're sort of a, Chainsaw artist. <laughs> yeah. So, 